partnerships in Lithuania. Uh, this project is uh, lasting for three years and we are now starting the second year of the project. It's uh, going to involve uh, uh, more than 100 schools in Lithuania over uh, the period of uh, three years. And uh, it's uh, about uh, uh, changing uh, the way teaching happens in, in school uh, uh, with the help of uh, uh, prof creative professionals, so through partnerships with uh, creative uh, of schools with creative uh, professionals. This uh, project is based on a program of the same title, Creative Partnerships, which has been developed through uh, 10 years in uh, the United Kingdom. And we are working closely with the organization Creativity, Culture and Education, CCE, uh, from UK uh, to uh, adapt that program uh, to Lithuanian context. Uh, so, uh, I've been uh, visiting a number of international events recently and uh, I know that there are several countries in, in Europe and else interested in uh, also starting uh, this program and I've been asked many times like how, how did it happen, how did you manage to make it a project of, of such a scale. So I, w I just want to, to tell some, some words about it because I think it's really quite a unique uh, Thing that such project started, uh, 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 such, such project which is quite a serious investment in to creativity of children and of society, and that it started in the depth of uh, economic crisis. And uh, I think it's really uh, worth uh, uh, looking again how how it all happened because uh, there were several important factors that met together to to make it happen actually. So it all started, uh, it was encouraged by uh, 2009, which was European Year of Creativity and Innovation. And that year uh, we met with some colleagues and we said that we, we were joined by this idea that we, we really want to do something uh, to explore how uh, creative uh, professionals, and it's not only artists, but people also from creative industries, how, how they can uh, uh, contribute to uh, the way education happens. And we talked then not only about schools, but also about higher education and uh, uh, how, how relationships uh, with business can be developed and so on. So we, uh, through uh, this year, 2009, we started uh, this kind of dialogue. We organized some working uh, groups of, of of people interested in the topic and looking for the ways to speak about it, like what kind of issues, what kind of words, what kind of definitions we want to use and what, what kind of questions to raise. And it all finished in November in Lithuanian Forum for, uh, for Creative Society, which was really uh, ended up being started from, from very low and, and ended up be, being really high profile event uh, a picture here is the beginning of the forum with, uh, in the president's office and the president giving the initial uh, speech and then the forum uh, continued further in the parliament and uh, ministries, both ministries of education and science and of culture were involved in all that. And we had uh, over 400 people from all the country uh, coming uh, together and really interested in, these, uh, in, in the issues that, that were raised. So it was really first time when these kind of ideas, like how really can uh, uh, creativity will uh, be, how it can be encouraged with the help of uh, creative uh, people, with creative professionals. Uh, it was first time discussed and afterwards uh, it led to a uh, uh, very concrete uh, idea to, uh, to try to adapt creative partnerships, which was presented at that forum. In, uh, in, in Lithuania and here the essential moment was when uh, this uh, initiative, this willingness to, to make something from, from, from below, from, uh, from people like me who were really uh, uh, interested in that idea and passionate for that, it me meant with the, the uh, strategic <laughs> level and with the uh, political will from Ministry of um, Education and uh, so it's really, uh, that created the momentum. So it was uh, really support, uh, it, it, on the one hand was willing, willingness to act and to, to, to do something about it. And the, on the other side there was support from 
uh, from from the government and from president's office. And so, I mean, it's it, it really uh, made it uh, believe that it can be something bigger than uh, just some some pilot initiative, just trying uh, new things and then seeing what can happen further. So it started already initially as very ambitious uh, idea. Uh, also through that process, because from the from the forum to to the project starting, it took two years. As you may know, uh, it's about uh, how innovations uh, uh, come to, uh, to to life. In the beginning, the, uh, it's very slow pace, but uh, after some time, they start to. Uh, the process uh, uh, starts to go much much faster. So we really needed a lot of patience and uh, two years uh, just developing that project. In that period, uh, what was really important factor was uh, 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 help for uh, and, and support from uh, British Council, which I call here like independent body that was uh, out of government and which helped to really, uh, because uh, yeah, to support this idea, to, to give some inter institutional uh, background at that time to that idea. Uh, also, uh, I mentioned the uh, CCE, uh, this organization from UK who own the program there, and that's also very crucial that until today, uh, and from the very beginning, it's not like uh, ex external expert su support where you hire people, they come for several hours to work with you and they leave. It's really, uh, the project is shared together by us and we will work on daily basis together and uh, even in the hardest moments when for two years we worked just not knowing if it ever happens, uh, we really managed to, 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 to believe in uh, one other uh, to, 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 between us, to, to between, uh, believe in this idea and that really helped, that we, we were really kind of a uh, group of people very committed to the idea and uh, working, continuing to work uh, on it. Uh, now uh, about the project itself, so it's uh, now it's like, uh, uh, it, it's a project supported by European Social Fund and the uh, support is uh, uh, 4.6 million euros for those three years. And uh, as I mentioned, we are going to involve more than hundred schools uh, and they will all participate from one to three uh, school years. So school started last year, they have a possibility to continue for three years. And uh, we are involving about 200 uh, creative professionals, which as I mentioned, they are really not only like artists uh, in, in this more narrow sense, but also people from uh, fashion and, and design and architecture and uh, 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 training, uh, adult training and so on, but they really, all of them have, need to have some kind of creative uh, practice. That's very important. Uh, so the project is actually about uh, re working with uh, how learning is happening at school. So uh, how, to, uh, how to change, how to expand views to conventional learning process at school, uh, how to develop uh, creativity of both uh, pupils, learners and, and teachers and uh, how, how can be uh, creative, more creative approaches to learning uh, developed. So it's all about how the learning is happening at school and the idea is uh, like the, the aim uh, for, for the school which participates in the, we really want that school would co connect their participation in the project with their vision as a school. So the, the vision would be that they would become a, a school of creative culture, creative learning culture. So it's all, it's about spaces where learning is happening, about relationships, about behaviors. Uh, it's, it's uh, uh, and of course it's transdisciplinary and it's more about uh, the school as, as, a, as a community itself and how it can develop in order to be more engaging, more exciting and uh, uh, um, make uh, really uh, offer a lot of possibilities for kids with different uh, uh, needs and uh, uh, abilities and uh, uh, aspirations for life. So the the main uh, part of the of this creative partnerships model is uh, uh, cooperation between pupils, uh, teachers, and creative professionals. And here, uh, creative professionals come to school to uh, both uh, trigger questions like with 
being uh, uh, being not from that uh, uh, being not from that society, being not from that community, they can see with fresh eyes what's happening and they can question a lot of things which have become probably a routine uh, for a long time. So they are there to ask questions, to uh, encourage uh, these processes of rethinking of how, how, we, how we deal with everyday, uh, l like learning on an everyday uh, basis. And also they work as a uh, uh, their, their role is uh, like kind, kind of role models uh, so that teachers can look how you can work with, uh, with a class, for example, in very different way, uh, being co-learner, uh, co-producer, uh, 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 the one who engages uh, children in, 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 in learning process. Uh, so uh, for, and, and in some ways also they play as role uh, models for, for pupils themselves, like models of creative uh, behavior, let's say, uh, in a simple way. Uh, and uh, through the school year, it happens in three stages. So um, uh, uh, creative agents, that we call them, creative agents come to a school and they stay there through all the process. And then they, they try to uh, work with school and to, to de define a certain area of focus and help to really define it in a way that it would leave to some uh, uh, positive uh, solution related to, to how the learning is happening. And then uh, when they finish planning, they, they uh, come up with idea like what kind of process could help them to explore uh, uh, this issue about learning. If it's about motivation to teach uh, science, maybe they decide to invite uh, filmmakers to, to, to develop some uh, films about the topics that are really difficult and then they will see through this process how uh, after the um, after the creative, creative professionals leave how it can be adapted to like normal usual uh, school practices this kind of process when you uh, explore some subjects through um, uh, through inquiry through creative process and evaluation is for uh, reviewing w from where it started so we ask really to benchmark the situation in the, in the beginning of projects and then to uh, check it again uh, when, when, when it's finished so that it's really possible, it would be possible to say that we reached that uh, change in the class, in the atmosphere, in, in behavior of pupils or teachers or uh, in uh, understanding of certain subjects or issues. So we really, uh, uh, it's very important for this module to be able to track what's happened and, and what, uh, what kind of uh, activities, models of, of behavior can, can, can help to achieve, achieve certain uh, educational goals, let's see. And what is important through all the process, throughout all the process, it's uh, continuous ongoing reflection. So it's all the time, like, are we doing the right thing? Uh, do we really are getting where we were supposed to get? Uh, how do we feel, do, is, it, is it kind of learning which is uh, good for this group? Maybe there are uh, still uh, learners who are not involved. How can we change our plan to involve those who stayed not involved and so on? So ongoing reflection is also uh, as a way to, to learn from this process. Now how, the, how all the uh, project is uh, shaped, what will happen after the three years, uh, so it's, it's about methodology, so it's all about the roles of these partners in the process, about how, what they are, what, what they should do, how they interact, the process, all, all this, the theory behind it and so on. So it's methodology which we uh, adapt uh, from uh, experience uh, in UK to the Lithuanian context and which is ongoing process. Uh, then it's important that after the project we have a number of teachers and creative professionals ready to work in this uh, way, to cooperate and ready to also uh, give uh, uh, further their uh, experience, to share their experience. And then it's about a uh, really uh, important aspect to make it uh, uh, understood what kind of approach it is and to make it accepted and uh, uh, in broader in, in system of education and also in cultural community and in society to be able to, uh, for it to, to continue. Uh, now just uh, some things about uh, learning from the first year of the project. What are 
the issues are on the agenda after we, we've uh, visited schools, read the planning forms and evaluation forms of the project, discussed with creative professionals and with teachers. So one of the things which is really happening once a creative professional comes to school and just makes some change in, uh, in, in the way uh, the, 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 uh, the lesson is, is happening, uh, it's shifting of roles. Uh, and uh, here is a citation by, by one of the teachers that uh, found themselves in unusual situations. The leaders of everyday classroom get confused, don't know how to act, and the silent, isolated kids unexpectedly flourish. So it's really very symptomatic. It's about uh, probably just a lesson about the fact that the, the, this classical setup of classroom and the practices uh, of, of classroom are really just uh, appreciating certain kind of uh, intelligence or certain kind of behavior. And then once it's, it's, it's shifted, once it's changed, completely different uh, uh, ways of expression and of thinking uh, prosper. Uh, and there were really exciting stories where teachers could not believe that this boy, which was not only silent but also aggressive and not communicative at all, suddenly became the leader of the, of the whole creative process and so on. So it's really something very symptomatic what uh, immediately this kind of initiative is doing for, for the class. Uh, what is also very important for us is to work with perception of creativity. Uh, and uh, he here is uh, a nice quote about uh, Teacher, when she, what she noticed from mapping, mind mapping uh, children's perceptions of creativity in the beginning and the end of the project. Uh, in the beginning of the project, children were saying that only an actor, a poet, or artist can be creative. In the end of, the, uh, uh, of that, they were, in the end, they were describing a creative person as attentive, planning to details, willing to learn, active manager, patient, brave, independent, communicative, active, wise, trying, imaginative. So it's, it's uh, one, one thing is that it really uh, expands how uh, children uh, and young people perceive creativity and they, they get confidence, they, they can be creative themselves and they can create even more, they can create even more things, exi ex more exciting things together. But it's also about changing this perception in school in general, in, in views of teachers, that it's not only arts, uh, it's not only about arts when we talk about creativity, that, that it is about all subjects and, and much broader concept. Uh, the, of course, one of the biggest uh, issues and biggest uh, effort is uh, it's about partnerships of creative professionals and teachers. Only when there is really a partnership and when a uh, uh, teacher works hand in hand with, uh, with a creative professional to develop these projects, only then uh, big things, big change can happen. When uh, quite often it's difficult uh, uh, to, to set this, this needs a lot of effort and uh, then it, stay, it can stay like a creative professional just working with kids and teacher left aside. That's not the way the, the, uh, uh, really, um, the quality of the project can appear and that, that uh, the, the change can be uh, evoked. So it's really, it, it, it took almost a year or less or more for, for participants to realize that that's essential and the, our agent said that next time from the first day they would invest immediately to, the, to this partnership with teacher and, uh, and kids, with kids it's somehow, it's quite easy when you are a creative person to, to get in touch but, but uh, with teachers it was a, a, real, um, a, a real issue and, and from both sides very difficult. And continuing on that note, it's about when, when we talk about these projects and when they really uh, uh, manage to achieve some important uh, uh, changes in perceptions and behaviors in methods of approaches to learning, it's really when teachers uh, are very open and dear to, to really participate in this uh, experiment. And here is a quote from uh, a teacher who really made it a big step for, for herself in, in that process. And she said that she uh, really uh, went to that moment when she was not sure she can be a teacher anymore. She said, I felt I'm not creative, I'm, I cannot work with children and so on. So it's about daring to go with, with the help uh, 
uh, of this questioning creative professional to this uh, uh, uncomfortable uh, gray zone where you are not sure, where you where you you do things that you are not used to do or you are not you have not confidence in doing and it's about this kind of dearness when uh, and only this kind of process can really uh, bring uh, some change and some new fresh looks to to what's happening what kind of teaching can happen and how to, how to work with kids and uh, uh, looking uh, to the future so it's only the second year of the project starting, but uh, uh, it's very important for us to see how it can be uh, not just project-based, but how it can be uh, remain as uh, uh, institutionalized practice. So we think about uh, making more, mm, more uh, serious links between uh, the projects and possibilities uh, for uh, continu continual professional development of teachers so that the project would be really a, a very serious opportunity for teacher to, to learn and that to be really uh, accepted and accredited and about the creative professionals who would be uh, uh, ac accepted as those who can consult uh, teachers uh, and schools about creative learning. So these kind of issues when we look to, to the future and we look to what, what will remain after the, the, the project uh, finishes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> That's, that was all, thanks. <laughs>